Seriously? Hey, Lation, what? Oh, what a <laughs> overachiever. Yay! What's up, y'all, and welcome to this video. Today, I am doing night photography. No, you did not hear me wrong, you heard me correctly. I haven't posted a night photography photo video since two years ago when I shot on my Pentax 6-7. If you wanna watch that disaster, I'll link it. Unlike then, I did some research this time in hopes of having a successful photography outing. Don't get your hopes up yet. We got to find out how it went. So for this shoot, I tagged along with the Black Women Photographers event as it was hosted by them and Cinestill. And they had a special guest, Valley in Film, who was giving a free workshop on how to shoot night film photography. What really drew my eye to this event was free film and someone to teach us how to do it. Granted, I already had an idea of how to do it, but just, you know, hearing any tips and tricks that they had to offer was more than welcome. And like I said, free film. For future reference, if anyone wants to give me free film, I'm open and accepting 24 seven. So never hesitate to give me free film. Kodak. We start off in Broadway in downtown LA. This street is known for its numerous theaters and the colorful marquees that are lit up at night. Jumping right in, you'll see me setting up in front of the Rialto. This guy came by and happened to sit at this bench while the workshop instructor was giving instructions and I was setting up. And when I saw him pop a squat on this bench, I had my frame and he was curious. He kept checking me out, seeing what I was doing, but he didn't say anything and I respect that. I love when people don't say anything when I'm doing something weird in front of them and they just allow me to do what I'm doing. All right, so the first shot of the day is the Rialto sign with the subject in the front. I shot the first shot at two seconds, F11. Second shot is at one second, F11. Same as the third shot, F11, just for safety purposes in case of movement. Next, I moved into traffic because if I'm not playing in traffic, then I'm not having a good time on a shoot. And maybe you aren't either. All right, so my setup for this shoot was the Nikon FE paired with a Nikkor 20 millimeter lens, which was loaned to me from Walter's Camera Repair. So what's coming? Got it. Thank you. Hey, Lation, what? Speaking of Walters, they're the sponsor of this video. Thanks, Walters. I also had a light meter on this shoot and a tripod and a calculator, because believe it or not, I was doing math. I want to get low and get a low angle. I feel like a lot of times we shoot things standing up and I'm already short, so when I go, when I drop my level again, you're getting an angle you're probably not gonna see from anyone else. Don't park in my shot, please. <laughs> So the next time you really want to shop, but the best angles in traffic and you're saying to yourself, should I go or shouldn't I go? Remember Frogger as a child, and I'm sure you won. So go out there and listen for the traffic and the horns. Don't get hit. If this is children watching, don't play in traffic. Adults only. I also had a buddy watching my back so that I didn't get hit by a bus. So if you're doing night photography, take a friend. There are like 20 to 15 women out there. So you're not gonna rob us all. And if you do, overachiever. This is not the composition for this shot. Might be across the street. Next, we walked down the street. We were on a busy kind of intersection. There was a lit up sign that kind of said tower. I kept trying to walk around it. There was this annoying street lamp though, kind of in the frame. So I was trying to figure out how to not get that in frame because, you know, shooting 20 millimeters, I had a lot of stuff in frame. So while I was trying to play in traffic, it was a tricky spot because it was like right off of a quick right turn that people love to speed through. So it was a lot of back and forth motion for me. And I'm not sure this is the best shot that I got of the night at all, but I, I did get something and that's, that's really that.
All right, for the last shot of the tower, we shot that at eight seconds, I think, eight or four seconds, uh, F11. For this shot, I decided to veer off from the group. I noticed a kind of bar situation that was lit up with people sitting outside, and I said, that's me. And I wandered over, took a buddy, who was like, I'll go with her to make sure she's not robbed and murdered, appreciate you. And I took a few frames here as well. And we're about to hit it and go. As we kept walking, we came across like a nightclub situation, had a couple, I don't know if they were bouncers, they didn't seem big enough to be bouncers, but they had a couple men in black standing outside of the velvet right. ropes. One second, F11. One second, F11. For what? Oh, about to die by a bus. <laughs> All right, took it slower. All right, this set up, same settings as last time. Oh. The Clifton. Seriously? You can't write this stuff. One second, F11. Right, one more time on that one. Do not park in front. Stop. They got him. now moving on we walked a little bit more down the street to the last theater of the night and this theater was in a weird place it was kind of like a crosswalk in front of it with light that stopped traffic and some interesting characters there was a homeless person sleep on the sidewalk in front of it all right that one was uh two seconds at f16 Oh, I should do some light trails. We're gonna do some experimentation now. We're gonna do like three seconds. Once this goes, we're gonna hold it for three seconds and we'll do the Mississippis. All right. One, two, oh, I'm running out of juice. I'm running out of juice. I'm running out of juice. It's still open. 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 And Oh, it did go. That did not go as to planned. Why on M90? Why was on M90? Alright, let's try this again. Alright, that one probably didn't work. Bruh. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Guys, we raise up drastically overexposed. Oh. All in all, I would say that this nighttime photography trip was significantly better than my first time shooting night photography. Why? Because I actually did research. I went to Cinestill's website to find out what the film reciprocity was for the 800T because I knew I'd be shooting that ahead of time and I got my formula down. And then while I was out, I was doing the mathematics to make sure I was giving myself the best chance of actually taking a shot. And then I bracketed. I highly suggest bracketing if you're really trying to walk away with an image. Because last time when I only had 10 exposures, I was being stingy. I didn't want to waste the frames. 
And because of this, those photos are terrible. Yeah, I've leveled up. Not here, but I've leveled up from down where I was to, you can see me now. Here, sight, me. Then I looked to my right and I noticed all the lights down the street and I said, let's get experimental. 36 frames, do it. Alright, so this is gonna be 15 seconds at F22. Once that light turns green, we are gonna go and see what we get. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 20, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000, 13, 1,000, 14, 1,000, 15, 1,000. At the end of the walk, participants were given an extra roll of Cinestill 800T to continue practicing knife photography. If you're someone who struggles with knife photography or you feel insecure about knife photography, don't give up. Don't let two years go by when you just say, it's not my thing. I hate it. It's not for me. Do a little research. Shoot 35 millimeter. Try again. Take a gang of women with you to protect you and have a good time and play in traffic. All right, you guys, if you have any tips for me, comment down below and let me know your tips, tricks, and suggestions for shooting even better nighttime photography shots as I'm open to suggestions at this point. And I'm open to you, Cinder Still. Feel free to send me any film you want. A special thank you to Valley and Film who led this workshop and this walk. Another thank you to the Black Women's Photographer Group out here in the Los Angeles division. You guys are doing great work. I appreciate you having me and allowing me to vlog while I was out there. And I can't wait to do it again. All right, you guys, if you want to watch another video, check this one out or watch this disaster from the past and like this video because you know I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. All right, everybody. Peace.